Meatball Guys. What up, guys? This is Meatball Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the cheats or admin commands in Unturned. Now, this game is published by 505 Games and it was developed by Fun Labs. It released last year on November 12th. Unfortunately, on the console, it costs $24.99. However, I believe it is free on the PC. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a lot of the achievements much easier. Now, by no means is this like a super easy one hour completion or anything like that. However, you can unlock a lot of the achievements and trophies much easier by using the cheats slash admin commands. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to use them. This video is not going to cover the full 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy. I'm just going to show you guys how I unlocked a few achievements right in the beginning. Overall, we're going to have to work at this as a community. I think that if we all work together on trying to find solutions for all of these individual achievements using the admins and cheats, overall we'll end up having a fairly easy completion after it's all said and done. So if you happen to discover any ways to unlock any of these achievements or trophies by using the cheats I'm about to show you, make sure to comment down in the comments below and let us know. Also try to write a solution on true achievements for that achievement. Eventually, hopefully in a few weeks, I'll try to make a full achievement guide for the game, giving you the full 1000 gamer score using this cheat and admin method. For now, I'm just showing you guys how to use the cheats and admins. Now obviously this does not disable the achievements, otherwise I wouldn't be telling you guys about it. Now first and foremost, you need to be playing offline. You want to enable cheats, so make sure you change that to yes, and you can adjust the world settings if you press X. That's how I got to this screen right here. Now, I want to foreshadow that I do not believe that you can change these settings after you create your world. So, you can only adjust this stuff before you start your offline game. Now, there's tons of stuff that you can adjust in here that may or may not help you get some of the achievements. For instance, we have achievements for killing 1,000 zombies and getting 1,000 headshots. We can definitely help our situation by adjusting some of these sliders. For instance, we can spawn more zombies. We can adjust our damage so basically that we're in god mode and we can just rack up a bunch of zombie kills really easily. Um, we can spawn specific weapons so you can spawn a sniper rifle, things like that to be able to help you get those 1000 headshots. Also we can increase the experience multiplier so that when you do execute quests or kill enemies, things like that, that you get like times 10 experience which is going to help get some of the achievements that are related to leveling up in the game and also for um, maxing out all of your skills. So there's really two things that are going to help us eventually unlock all of the achievements in this game. One being the world sliders. Again, you can access these before you start your offline game. And then second being the cheat menu. I'll show you guys how to activate the cheat menu. First and foremost, you need to make sure that you activate the cheats by selecting yes before you start your offline world. Now, as you can see, we have a ton of options in these sliders. I haven't really taken a deep dive into it yet. Again, eventually I'm going to try to make a video guide showing you guys how to get all of the individual achievements in this game. But for now, I just kind of want to open it to the community, show you guys that you can mess with these sliders and that it does not disable the achievements. And hopefully we can figure out a lot of these together. Aside from that, as you can see, there's a bunch of different categories of sliders. There's a player sliders, structure sliders, animal sliders, barricades, all types of different things that you can adjust. So you may want to mess around with these and see if they help you get any achievements. Other than that, I think what we're going to go ahead and do is just dive into the game and I'm going to show you guys how to activate the cheat menu so that you guys can spawn whatever you want. So after you're done adjusting the world options, go ahead and make sure that cheats says yes. After that, it's going to start your offline game. And what we're going to do is let's first go ahead and go into the controls and the settings. And if you look at this, it actually shows you how to activate and use that cheat menu. So we're going to go to controls. And as you can see, it says cheat menu. Press in both of the thumbsticks at the same time. So we're going to exit the pause menu. We're going to click in both thumbsticks and this is the cheat menu. You can alternate through the different tabs by pressing left or right trigger. And there are thousands and thousands of things that you can spawn. Luckily, each of these have a number associated with them. So once we start you know, figuring out some of these achievements, I can tell you guys which item number to spawn. That way you guys don't have to go searching for it. For instance, 
if you spawn item 1345 the plot this will allow you to start planting um, different types of seeds which enable you to get a bunch of different achievements for instance uh, growing plants harvesting but also building every time you plant um, a seed into a plot it actually counts as building so I actually got my achievement for building 150 different items just by planting corn seeds into the plot so I'll show you guys real quick here I maxed out my inventory that's why they started falling out on the floor and I just started planting all of these corn seeds into the plots and eventually after I planted I think 250 of them I ended up getting an achievement for building 250 items so it is going to take a little patience but eventually you're going to get an achievement for building 250 items and then also once they're fully grown you'll get an achievement for um, harvesting or actually sorry um, growing 100 plants and then there's also an achievement related to harvesting them after so there's tons of things that we can do in effort to you know get some of these achievements a lot easier by using you know different console commands and spawning different things I just got the fortified achievement worth 15 gamer score for building 250 objects as you can see I didn't build anything I just planted 250 seeds into the plot another uh, example would be um, there's an achievement called berries berries it's for eating something that makes you hallucinate you can actually eat glue and it will unlock this achievement so if you go into the cheats menu and you find glue it is number 70 go ahead and spawn the glue it's going to end up in your hand press right trigger to drink it and that's going to start your hallucination and it's going to unlock an achievement again it's called berries berries I'm assuming you can eat some poisonous berries and it will unlock this as well but you're going to unlock that one for consuming a hallucinogenic item so as you can see the achievements and trophies definitely work with the cheats activated and even with adjusting the world options another one that I was able to get is I just spawned a bunch of tomatoes and I wanted to get the achievement for picking up I think it's like 100 items and so all I did is I dropped them and I picked them up I pretty much rinsed and repeated that method until I got the achievement for finding 100 items now I want to note two things first and foremost the achievement trackers work so if you want to see how close you are to unlocking an achievement you can go into your achievements and it'll show you how close you are now by using the trackers I was able to find out something that I think is important now if you pick up a group of tomatoes let's say you have 15 tomatoes grouped together and you drop them and you pick that up even though it's 15 tomatoes it's only going to count as picking up one item so it's better to just pick up a bunch of different tomatoes separately rather than grouping them up into groups of 15. the way that i grouped them up into groups of 15 is because they were in my inventory and then i dropped them and it doesn't drop them into 15 individual tomatoes it drops it into one item that's 15 tomatoes so you may need to spawn more if you um, you know for some reason are only getting credit once for picking up a tomato versus you know it should be like 15 of the 100 so yeah just make sure that you're picking up individual items and not a grouped item otherwise it's not going to count as that many items I know it sounds a little bit confusing but yeah I just want to give you a heads up you'll understand it once you dive into it the other thing I did is I spawned a bunch of cloth because I wanted to get my achievement related to crafting and with cloth you can use two pieces of cloth to craft a rag so all you have to do is put a bunch of cloth into your inventory and basically if you have 200 cloth you're going to be able to craft 100 rags which is going to unlock an achievement for crafting 100 items so yeah that's just four achievements I unlocked real quick after discovering that you can use cheats and admin commands in unturned Hopefully we'll be able to figure out all of the rest so that we can all get the full 1000 gamer score. Other than that, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including Tim G84, AOJ, Kegger101, Michael Banksa, and Purple Rain 6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.